Well, here we go from Andover, Minnesota. Youth Hockey Hub brings you the first installment of the Youth Elite League. We're kicking it off with a triple header here from the Andover Community Center. At the 2014 age level, it's hometown hockey. And the True North Warriors, Will Peterson here on Youth Hockey Hub to bring you all of the action. Hometown wins it off the draw. They will be skating from right to left for the first as we get an offside whistle here four seconds in. Hometown will be skating from right to left wearing their white uniforms, baby blue numbering, dark blue accents. In goal for them, number 33, Brooks Eason on the other side. The True North Warriors skating from left to right wearing their yellow uniforms with the black numbering and accents. In goal for them, number one, Miles Tangent. This one will go up and out of play with 13.47 on our game clock. We'll play three 14-minute periods in the first of three games we have for you here from Andover on the Youth Hockey Hub as well as a triple header taking place over in Champlin Park. Here's a shot from the left circle that time by Nash Kruger. Nice release there, but a good glove save made by Brooks Eason. First shot he sees, he makes a comfortable glove save, 13.38 to go. We'll get a face off to his blocker side. Neither of these sides have played in the Youth Elite League just starting this week. We do have some scores from other age levels, some other teams, but for these two teams, it's their first league action. Now this one's loose at the near post, poked at, they score! Boy, a loose puck out in front. I think it was Crew Lindemann that time sending it in. Goes five hole down low on Brooks Eason. 13.29 to go. True North strikes first. It's one to zero. Lindemann with the goal. His first of the season. The first goal for True North on the season. Single assist goes number four, Brogan Gross. Time of the goal is 31 seconds. So a quick, quick start for True North in this one, 13.23 to go. Will be a face off now to the glove side of Miles Tangent. Off the draw, True North wins it to the left wing side. It's Allenberger heading up that side. He'll send it in, be the first man there. Good work down low on the four check. Now it's turned over. Hometown with possession. Weston Johnson deep in his own zone. Puck is coughed up at the point. Zone is held. Dumping it in that time. Max Zilke. And the first on is Jens Odenheide. Odenheide working down low. Loses possession. Hometown with it down the right wing side. And now he's got some space. It's Drew Millich cutting into the slot. Regains it. Shot pad save made. Puck is underneath the goaltender Tang, and he didn't know where it was, but had it all the way. 12.44 to go, the first scoring chance for hometown. Still one to nothing, True North, on the Youth Hockey Hub. Face off now to the blocker side of Tangen. Fresh off seeing his first shot on goal here. As Birdie holds it deep in his own end. Bank pass out, clears the zone, lost for a moment, regaining control is Lauritsen. He shovels it to the near side, on it there is Anderson for the Warriors. To the near corner. Lauritsen is tripped up, no call coming, the refs will let him play. Broughton on the near side half wall. Now down low, sharp angled look, a skate save made that time by Eason. Puck is cleared, and it's a foot race for it up the left wing side. Asher Green, the man on it for hometown, backhands it out front, nobody home. Now on the redirect, it's deflected wide and True North will regain control in their own end at the left wing half wall. Hometown with it at the blue line, this one is chopped at, now taken into neutral ice by True North. Puck lost once again, this one is shoveled in, icing waved as the first man on is Owen Holmquist for hometown. He loses control of it. A back and forth affair here as Zilke's stretch pass will go too far. Off the heel of the stick of Jack Deshaw for hometown, who brings it all the way around town. Breakout pass is intercepted, but nice play to recover from hometown, and they've got to look the other way. Up the left wing side, Weston Johnson. Shot, nice pad save made by Tangen, kicking out his right leg. Back with control is True North, only momentarily. is taken again at center. Now the puck changes possession once again as it's Gross on the right side. Brogan Gross down low into the corner. Turns and sends this one for Lindemann 
our lone goal scorer here. He scored an even strength goal 31 seconds into this contest to give the Warriors a 1-0 lead. Up the near side now, it's Jack Deshaw. He enters the zone. Nice toe drag, wanted to get it out in front for Riker Elena, who was alone in the blue paint, but couldn't do so. Jens Odenheide with it now. This one is sent all the way down. Icing signaled and called with 10.37 to go here from Andover. It's True North 1, hometown zero on the Youth Hockey Hub. Faceoff will come to the glove side of Tangen this time. Nice move off the draw, shot, score! Beautiful move off the draw by Asher Green. There's the answer for hometown hockey. 10-29 to go, and it's one-to-one. -one. We await the goal announcement here as hometown works it in. We'll go a tentative time of goal of 3.31 until we receive other information. The clock was stopped for a moment, now it'll run. Up the left wing side into the zone, shot save made that time by Ezen. On the far side, once again, Elena controls up the right wing side. Now here's Millich, nice defensive stick, that time by Hudson Bratton to shut down a nice scoring attempt from hometown. Now it'll be Bratton back the other way. Makes a smart move, dumps it in, and he'll go for the change. One to one here between hometown and True North. A touch below 10 minutes remaining here in our first period of play. As working back the other way is hometown. Scoring chance thwarted that time by Fode. Now as this one is played back down low, too far for Zilke. Actually, he'll catch up to it and play it back onto his backhand. Working out of his own zone. Max Zilke into neutral ice now. Looking to go coast to coast on his forehand into the corner. Centering pass sticked away by Eason. And now it's in the far side corner. Good battle for it there. It's sent up to the point. Too far for the True North back line to catch it. So with under nine to go, they will set up shot back in their own end. Now break out. Miles Anderson lost control. And once again, True North will go back to get it. 8.45 to go here in our opening frame from the Andover Community Center. It's one-to-one -one between hometown and True North. Anderson with it. Back hands it ahead, finds Oaks. Now Asher Green with it again. Battle for it near the center ice logo. Now it's dumped in again. Working up the center of the ice now, it's Chandler. Stripped nicely that time by Bratton. He'll work back. Where's a hit as he enters the zone? This one is sent ahead once more. Under eight minutes to go. Icing is waved. True North will go back to get it again. And they have had the emphatic time on ice battle one here in the first few minutes. However, this one will go down for icing with 7.47 to go. One to one between hometown and True North. Again, this is game one of a Youth Elite League triple header that we will have for you tonight from Andover in game two. It'll be these two sides once again, but at the 2011 age level. And our nightcap will feature the 2012 hometown against the 2012 Thieves. So don't go anywhere, folks. It's a great day of sports here both in Minnesota and elsewhere as we have the Frozen Four in town in St. Paul as well as the Masters being played down in Augusta. But... We're happy you joined us here on the Youth Hockey Hub for some Youth Elite League action. Delayed offside, they'll tag up. It's rather with it. Poked up ahead on the near side. Bratton near his own blue line. Loses control. And now hometown has it again. Sent out front across the paint. Poked at that time by Tangen. 
And now it's in the far corner. Bratton with it, touch over seven minutes to play in the first. Hudson Bratton down the left wing side, puts a move on in the circle, shot, stick save made by Eason. He corrals it to his glove and holds. 6.58 to go, a draw deep into the hometown zone. This one to the blocker side of Eason. The left wing, Colquist jumped that play, carries it all the way into the zone before they lose control. Good work to hold it that time by Leo Rather. He'll rim it all the way around. Colquist, the first guy there. Touch pass. Now this one sent out front. Good vision there on the far side by Grant Peterson to send it to the near post. They're unable to get a shot off. At the right circle. Now this one sent up high, it's Allen. Centering pass, intercepted by Zielke. Now he loses control and trying to do a toe drag there in the slot was Colquist as he lost control. At the blue line, delayed offside, True North will have to tag up as it's Allenberger losing control that time. Hometown. We'll take it back the other way. A stretch pass is taken by Birdie for True North. And the boys in yellow and black will set back up. Allenberger with it. Nearly caught hometown with too many men there. The refs will let this one go as this one is lifted near the hometown bench. Now turned over. Here's Auden Hyde at the left circle. Lost control. He'll go down below the line to retrieve. It's intercepted by hometown as they look to work back out of their own end. Five and a half to go here in our opening frame. Jack Deshaw with it on his forehand. Beautiful deke. Now a centering look, and they score. It was Jack Deshaw trying to send it out front for his teammate. That time it was Milich, but after a deflection, I believe it's going to be Jack Deshaw getting the goal. It is Jack Deshaw. That goal comes unassisted. Time of the goal is 8:42. So now hometown with their first lead of the game. As we get offside call, or excuse me, icing called here. Jack Deshaw finds the back of the net. It's an answer for hometown as they now take the two to one lead over True North. 5:11 to go here in our opening frame. Defensive zone draw one. Now it's Bratton from the point. Long shot through traffic. Nice glove save made again by Eason. Already the second or third glove save we've seen for number 33 in white and blue. Certainly comfortable using that glove to make the stop as he does so here. 5.03 to go. The faceoff will come to his glove side. And it's controlled by hometown. Deshaw. Looks to rim. To the right point, Birdie holds. Now hometown with brief control of it, and they will regain control up the right wing side. Good puck battle there. Bratton comes free with it for True North. Right wing side, Miles Anderson, number 40 in yellow and black. Back down low, Aiden Zhukov with it. He gathers it on his forehand, sends it up the high slot. Nobody home, but it is sent down the other way. Breakaway look for Elena, who's tripped up, and we just might get a penalty shot here. It's about as clear as the penalty will come. It was Riker Elena making a break up the right side. Tripping is the call. Time the penalty will be 9.45. The offending party, Larson Lauritsen for True North. Waiting for him to get it on the clock. There we go. 9.45, the time of the penalty. And we'll have the first power play look of the year, and they score! Boy, I think that one 
caught a defender skate maybe out in front. It was Max Chandler sending it out that time. It's a power play goal, and it's 3-1 to one hometown. Give the assist, number 15, Weston Johnson. The time of the power play goal, 9.52. So hometown earns our game's first power play in just seven seconds into that power play. A power play goal for Max Chandler to make it three to one. Looking for more as this one is lofted out. Colquist in on that one. Up the left side, Lindemann. This one played into neutral ice. Brogan Gross will send this one in. True North tags up. They'll head in on the fork check. Zhukov with it. Works around the defense. Has the puck caught in his skates. Little pinball there in the slot. And coming free with it is Zielke. Max Zielke over the line. Pad save made by Eason. Bumps it right to his glove. And he'll hold on. 3.05 to go. True North strikes first. Three unanswered goals from hometown gives the boys in blue a 3 to 1 lead. The face off is to the glove side of Eason this time. Long shot, saw it through traffic, makes a pad save. And now it's taken behind the cage. Looking to stuff it home, and this one slides across the crease. It was odd and high down low, causing some chaos. Hometown gets a clear, icing signaled, called. 2.44 to go. True North with a 7-5 advantage in the shots on goal department. They find themselves trailing this one 3-1. One. Triple header as well over in Champlin Park tonight. And there is a lone game being played over at the TCO Sports Garden. So seven games in total on this Youth Elite League slate. Happy to be bringing three of them to you here from Andover. Once again, the clock has not started. We hope that they can get it going as it's played at center. The clock remains stopped, so for a time we remain in this twilight zone where anything could happen. Still 2.44 to play. And we have a penalty called. And so, yeah, we're going to get a uh, time the penalty maybe really should have been about, uh, we should have been out but with about 2.10 to play, but. Instead, a hometown's going to head to the box. The call's roughing. The time of the penalty will be 11-16. Always tough to do some hockey math after a little while away from the rink. Defending party, Bennett Stewart. So True North gets a chance on the man advantage here. One power play so far in this game. It went to hometown. They took just seven seconds to light the lamp. Weston Johnson, the first man there for the shorthanded hometown as a backhand shot. That time right out in front, slides across the crease. Now it's True North with it. Oaks over the line. Zielke battling with our official there. This one is cleared out. Near the center ice stripe, Anderson. Long shot, blocker save made by Eason, but the rebound comes dangerously close to making this a one goal game. A minute three remaining on the man advantage, minute 45 remaining in the first period of play here between hometown and True North, a three to one contest. As it's Anderson with it back again. Good defensive play to strip him of the puck. This one 
is sent down once again. Zielke will regain control. 43 seconds remaining on the power play and a minute 23 remaining in our opening period of play. Gross just manages to stay on side, sends it for Kruger who spins and fires this one towards the goal mouth. Eason sticks it into the right wing corner. Minute five now, shots are eight to seven in favor of True North. One minute remaining in our first period. Birdie in the corner. Weaving his way back. Gross, dumps it in. We are back at full strength. Hometown kills the first penalty of the Elite League season. And we've got 35 seconds now remaining in our first period. Gross will send this one low. Bratton with it. Sharp angled look, stick save made, and losing the stick that time is Eason. Another rebound that comes dangerously close. And True North has been inches away from a couple of goals here in the later stages of the first period. 10 seconds now. To the point, Birdie holds, feeds, three seconds, shot goes just wide, and that'll do it for our first period. True North lights the lamp first. Crew Lindemann, three unanswered goals for Asher Green, Jack Deshaw, and Max Chandler of hometown. And we have a 3-1 to one game after the first period. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back for the second period to play after a word from our sponsors. In life, we all need a little help to reach our summit. Whatever your summit looks like, it's easier to reach when your body is strong and healthy. At Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. We take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit. Summit Orthopedics. Visit summitortho.com to make an appointment today. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved, endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Brew Pub Lots and Lots of Pizza supports hockey anytime, anywhere. And we welcome you back here from the Andover Community Center after one period of Youth Elite League play. It's 3-1 to one between Hometown and True North on Youth Hockey Hub. Once again, Will Peterson welcoming you back here from Andover, Minnesota, just north of Minneapolis. A good one so far, Crew Lindemann finds the back of the lamp at the 31 second mark with an assist to Brogan Gross. Asher Green at 331 unassisted. Jack Deshaw then at 842 unassisted. And then a power play goal for Max Chandler from Weston Johnson at 952. And that is where we stand. Hometown one for one on the man advantage, True North scoreless on their only try. Back in play here, our second 14 minute period. Scoring chance right off the jump as True North tries to recreate that early scoring magic we saw from them in the first. It's Bratton with it on the far side. The teams switch sides, hometown will attack from left to right. True North from right to left, hometown in the white blue and dark blue mixture. True North rocking black and yellow. Brooks Eason back in goal for hometown. And Miles Tangen back in the pipes for True North. This is a fluttering puck that hits something on its way to Eason, but he is able to hunker down and make the save with 13.16 to go here in our middle period. High up on the draw, Auden Hyde will hold and play it to the point. Near side, Zielke, long shot, tip attempt out front that time by Allenberger, he can't get it on the frame. Now another sharp angled look from the right wing, believe it was Fode that time. And Eason is able to make a save, 13.03 now. Ah, 
Off the draw, Auden Height deflects off a stick. Zielke winds up and fans on it. Now gets it back and making the stick save is Eason. Zielke with it now. Puck does not go far enough for icing. He'll regain control, fire this one. Off a bank, it's intercepted. Now a prime chance for hometown. Backhand across, it's out front, shot. Beautiful save made by Tangent. Boy, a bad D zone turnover there for True North. Three hometown players bearing in on the blue paint. Tangent kicks out the left pad and makes a nice save. 12.32 to go. The draw will be in the True North zone. Three to one still, hometown over the Warriors. Off the draw, it's Bratton with it on the far side. This one bumped up to the point. Deshaw looks to hold, and he does. Centering look out front. Save made initially by Tang, and the rebound flutters away. And hometown with a couple of good scoring chances here early in our second period, but unable to find the back of the net. There's another one sent on that time by Millich. That is saved. Hometown... Now takes the lead in shots on goal for the game, 10 to nine. True North had the advantage pretty much the whole way in our first period. Oaks with it. As it's played up near the blue line, Weston Johnson will hold. Losing control momentarily, Bratton will take it now and it's Green sending it across for his D partner to Shaw. Their exchange is broken up, up high. And it's Deshaw with it once more. Fans on a pass, momentarily regains it. Now taking control is Lauritsen. At the left wing half wall, this one sent out front. Deshaw will take control on his own end. Neither side has really been able to get too much going in the other side's offensive end. It's been a lot of back and forth. Really just looking to capitalize off of the chances they're given. Speaking of that, it's an odd man rush. Beautiful saucer pass across for Lindemann who sends this one high. Boy, just not super crisp for True North there on the three on one. Of course, it's a product of playing your first games together as this one goes up into the True North bench. We'll get a whistle. Ten twenty-seven to go now to the glove side of Eason. It'll be Gross and Elena on the draw. They tie up, Ratton will take it at his right D spot. Now this one's sent across. Eason got a piece of it, but it slides across the goal. Now to the point for Allenberger. This one's sent for Bratton, has a look in the slot. Shot deflected that time by Zhukov. Now look out back the other way. It's another odd man rush look, this time for hometown. Left wing shot, goal! Riker Elna takes advantage of the odd man rush look. 9.56 to go. Hometown makes it four unanswered goals. It's four to one. It's an even strength goal. It's unassisted. The time is 4.04. Riker Elena with his first goal of the Elite League season. And it is four to one. Zielke with it, pokes for Lauritsen. This has been a relatively even game between True North and Hometown, but the home side, Hometown really just making the most of their opportunities. Four shots, or four goals I should say, on 11 shots. And they have been picking their spots. And the other side, Brooks Eason has been sharp in goal for Hometown making a few pretty, pretty saves. 
9.20 to go here in the second. 4-1 to one hometown over True North from Andover. And this one is dumped in by Elena. Had in pursuit is Rollins. He'll take it behind the net. This one's skied up and taken now by Auden Hyde. Up high, Brooks Allen with it. Left wing side, Auden Hyde will dump this one in. Rather, it circles back in his own third. Allen over the line, has some space in front of him, looks to drop it back. Tic-tac-toe pass and tripped up by his own man. That time was Zhukov. True North looking to work back. Some congestion in the middle third of the ice as they're unable to get through. Oaks with it, left corner. This one's rimmed to the other side. Bratton will back, hand it down low. Anderson pokes at it as well. As it's Leo Rathert with it this time. Now this one dumped in again. True North with a good four-check cycle here. Hometown looking to bust in. It looks like they have, rather with some space off the right wing side. Rather into the zone. Sends it out front. It's taken by the other number five, Bratton, for the Warriors. Good turnover there. Forced by hometown. Shot. Nice save made by Tangen. Boy, Miles Tangen did not have eyes on that puck and just manages to catch at the last second, get a blocker up on it. Big save number eight for him. On the contest, 7.28 to go. We'll get icing. Four to one still, hometown over True North. To the glove side of Tangen this time. As now a stretch pass, and boy, missed opportunity for True North. Lindemann had all kinds of space up the right side. He's still the first man there as he looks to center, and it's taken by Gross. And now hometown back. Peterson over the line. He lost at that time. Icing signaled and whistled with seven minutes to go here in the second. 12 to 10 shots. Hometown over True North. And... The boys in blue lead it four to one. Seven minutes exactly to go here from Andover. Off the draw, hometown will control. Long shot and a nice pad save made by Tangen on Weston Johnson's shot from the point. Now a backhand try down low. Owen Holmquist on at that time. Another save made by Tangent. Allenberger. Look to slip around his man. Now this one out front. Michaels scores! Check that. Andrew Rickles lofts it up that time. 6.30 to go. And True North has a much needed answer. They draw this game within two. Andrew Rickles settles it down in the slot, fires it home. Time of the goal, 8.30. And we have a two goal game now, four to two. Now a centering pass out in front. Loose at the front of the crease. It's still loose. Goaltender does not have a handle on it. Tangen now gets back to his feet. Another shot. Save made. Wraparound look. And boy, Miles Tangen just sprawling around the blue paint. Finally, they score. Boy, it felt like it was just a matter of time. It's Drew Millich. After a series of amazing saves made by Miles Tangen, 
Milic gets his first of the Elite League season, and it's back to a three-goal lead. Forty-two seconds separated those two goals. Drew Milic, his first of the league, and it's excuse me, five to two, as I had it wrong in my score sheet. Now this one's dumped in. Birdie with it. 5.22 to go here in the second. Shortly after True North pulls this game within a two goal span for the first time since the first period, Drew Millich answers right back and keeps the lead at three for hometown. Battle for it on the blue line. True North comes away with it, but they're offside on the zone entry. Lauritsen, the puck carrier that time, had his wing out in front. 4.53 to go here in the second. It's a 5-2 lead for hometown over True North on Youth Hockey Hub. Lauritsen and Colquist on the draw. Lauritsen wins it back to his D-man, Bratton. At the left wing circle, Oaks will send a shot out. And coming out to save that one with the glove is Eason. Save number nine for him on the contest. Check that, 10 is now it's updated. 4.40 to go, face off to the blocker side of Eason. Gross wins the draw back. Kruger sends this one to the far side. Lindemann unable to get a stick on it. Now this one sent back the other way, reversing the field for Kruger. Kruger looks to backhand. It's intercepted. Elena with control for hometown. Poked ahead. Now here's a breakaway chance. Grant Peterson scores! Beautiful play that time by Grant Peterson. He was spurned by Holmquist, who poked it up ahead to him and roofs it over the goaltender, Tangen. Nine forty-seven, the time of the goal. Six to two, hometown. Grant Peterson on the breakaway goes top shelf. First goal of the league for him. Six to two now for hometown. Hometown looking to work out of their own end. It's Brooks Allen. He enters the zone, leaves it behind at the blue line. Swooping in to take it is Green. Now a shot. Another pad save made by Tangen. Rebound is cleared by Gross to the point, but held there. Kruger. Now another sharp angled shot. That time from Milic goes across the crease and into the corner. Again, a 6-2 game here with three and change to go in the second. Hometown with it behind. This one deflected, now on the shot. That time out in front by Green is knocked down again. Hometown starting to take a firm control of this game here late in the second. Behind the net, wrap around, look, they score. Boy, a great offensive possession that time by hometown. Bennett Stewart gets the wraparound tuck, and it's 7-2. Time of the goal, 11-20. Bennett Stewart, wraparound goal. We enter running time here with a five-goal differential, but really has not been... That uncompetitive of a game, True North has had their chances, but Brooks Eason has been sharp in goal. And on the other side, hometown really just picking their spots. We'll get a whistle here as 
couple skaters are tied up. I think their helmets might be caught together. Now as our official will go in to assist there. As we await the separation of these two players, 151 to go, 7-2 to hometown over True North. Shots are 19-12 to in favor of the home side. They have taken the True North player's helmet off in an attempt to free him. It's Allenberger for True North and Weston Johnson for hometown. The day has been saved. The players have been separated. Both sides give a stick tap for that. When we resume play, it will be a face off to the glove side of Eason. And now Eason will have an equipment issue as a component of his mask has come undone. So he'll skate to the bench and we'll, we'll await his equipment. Now the mask is fixed. The failed handoff for Eason's equipment as he slides the glove and blocker back on. He has his stick. The mask is secure, and we are ready to play hockey once again here from Andover. Allenberger with it. Lost control. It's Weston Johnson looking to poke it up ahead. Allenberger will send this one back in again. Deshaw down low, puts the moves on his man, Bratton. Now rim to the far side for Alex Rollins. Elena near side corner. Bratton out front, score! Hudson Bratton with the answer for True North. Nice goal there, out in front, goes blocker side on the goaltender, Eason. Hudson Bratton, his first of the league. And we are back to a four goal game at seven to three. Time of the goal, 13.48. Check that, 12.48. And it's seven to three in this one. Another shot, they score! Back-to-back -back goals for True North, starting to show some offensive life. This time, Andrew Rickles with his second of the game. And just like that, 59 seconds to go here in the second. It's a three goal game. The goals scored 13 seconds apart. Andrew Rickles, his second of the game, and it's seven to four. Zhukov with it now. Sends it up ahead, Holmquist into the slot, shot. Might have got a stick on at that time, Tangen. Now Holmquist on his backhand. Jostling for it at the blue line. 10 seconds to go here in the second. Holmquist with it. He'll send this one in and that will do it for our second period of play. So Hometown opens up the scoring. True North with an answer, three unanswered for Hometown, and then a pair of True North goals before the end of the period makes it seven to four going into our third. We'll take a break when we return. Third period of play between Hometown and True North. You're watching the Youth Elite League on Youth Hockey Hub. In life, we all need a little help to reach our summit. Whatever your summit looks like, it's easier to reach when your body is strong and healthy. At Summit Orthopedics, our team of highly specialized physicians listens to and values every one of our patients. 
we take a conservative approach to care to get you back to your healthy and active lifestyle. Reach your summit, Summit Orthopedics. Visit summitortho.com to make an appointment today. Group of Lots and Lots of Pizza encourages the community pickup hockey game, honors the family that builds the neighborhood known backyard rink, salutes the passion utilizing a frozen lake to play a game that's loved, endorses the stardom early mindset to build contenders, acknowledges the grit, determination, and competition of the sport, and applauds the coach that demands the before the sun comes up outdoor practice. Group up Lots and Lots of Pizza supports hockey anytime, anywhere. And we welcome you back here from the Andover Community Center after two periods of the Youth Elite League play. Hometown 7, True North 4 at the 2014 age level here on Youth Hockey Hub. Will Peterson back here for the third period of play. Shots are 20 to 14 in favor of hometown, including 13 to 6 in the second period. But True North made the most of those six as they found twine on three of them. And we've got ourselves a game heading into the third, just a three goal spread. Eason will settle this down for the D man, rather. Lauritsen now. Zielke for Anderson. Now Stewart with it for hometown. Up the left wing side. At the blue line, now this one deflected. It'll be a foot race between the 18s, Brooks Allen and Asher Oaks. Anderson with it. He's tripped up, no call coming. 13-12 to go. In the third, Zielke long shot deflected wide to the glove side of Eason. Now hometown with it. Looking to pad their lead, Drew Millich. Gives for Elena, he can't work through his man. And hometown unable to get a shot off on the odd man rush. Now this one dumped the other way by True North. They were in need of a change, and they'll get one here on the icing. 12.47 to go, 7-4 to four, hometown over True North. Blocker side of Tangan this time for the faceoff. Now hometown will have it in the neutral zone. Lindemann on the right wing side. Long shot, gloved by Eason. We've seen him active with that glove side all game long. 12.29 to go. Will be a face off to that glove side. Allenberger with it. Off the draw for True North. He sends this one out front, hits a couple of sticks, and now Lindemann sends a shot that's blocked by Zhukov. Grant Peterson with it. Had a beautiful goal on the breakaway earlier. Now looks to add another one, and this one deflects wide of Tangent. We'll have icing here as a stretch pass does not connect for True North. 11.55 to go. Hometown still clinging to that three goal lead. Eleven fifty five to go. Face off between Bratton and Bennett Stewart. And Bratton will take control. Up the left side. Weaves into space. Bumps into his own man, Rickles there. And now hometown with it. Over the line and they'll be offside as Deshaw and Rollins can't get their timing quite in order. 11.37 remaining now in the third. Again, we invite you to stick around. Following this game, we will have these same two organizations, but at the 2011 age level, and then finally, our nightcap at the 2012 level features Hometown and the Thieves. 
Auden Hyde with it, and they are offside as they enter with 11.25 to go here in the third. Bratton with a quick wrist shot that is gloved again by Eason. Save number 12 for him on the contest, and it comes with the 11.21 to go in the third period. The puck is dropped. Bratton plays it on his forehand. Looks to thread the needle out in front. Fode looks to poke at it as well. Milich sends it up ahead for Elena. Fode again on his forehand. Shot, glove save made by Eason and a beauty. 10.59 to go. True North looking to climb the mountain here down three with under 11 minutes to go. Hometown with it. Allenberger will chip this one in. Going back is Elena behind his own goal. Up the left wing side. Sends this one in. They're behind the line, so icing is called here with 10.34 to go. This one played off the draw nicely by Stewart as he pokes it through the defender's legs. Now here's Anderson right wing side. Colquist across the blue line. Lost control to Elena for a second. Now Chandler regains. Stewart tangled up with Lauritsen. Near side half wall. Oaks will backhand this one out in front. Elena now steers it up ahead. Taken there by Birdie, who chips this one back down. Icing waved with 9.45 to go here in the third. Bank pass on the near side finds Grant Peterson. This one is sent back down low again. Elena with it. Finds Colquist, who looks to feed this one through for Grant Peterson. It's a foot race, but it's won by Easton Fode for True North. Kruger winds it up from the right wing side. Glove save made by Eason, but he can't glove it cleanly as the rebound goes over his left shoulder. Anderson turns and fires this one out front. Found his man Gross, who was unable to get the shot on it. Good play there on the centering pass. Now off a turnover, Lindemann was all alone out in front. Teammate can get it to him. Under nine to go. Remains a three-goal game. Lindemann forces a turnover. True North has had a fair amount of scoring chances, just really unable to link up on any stretch passes or two-on-ones. Not a ton of offensive rhythm for the boys in yellow and black. Allen up ahead. Stewart into the slot. Shot goes high over the blocker side of Tangent. Kruger now. Banks this one down the other way. Brooks Allen tries to go D to D for Rather. Bumped at by Zielke. They'll go to work for it in the corner. 8.05 to go here in the third. As now hometown works back. Grant Peterson lost control. It's settled down by Rathert, who pokes it ahead for Stewart. Bratton and him are all sorts of tangled up. Turnover out in front. Nice save made by Tangent. 
Boy, a great A chance for Boston Colquist, who's Johnny on the spot. Now working back the other way, Bratton. Tries to go five hole, it's a off the post. Boy, a flurry of activity out of nowhere. Both sides with great A's, under seven and a half to go. Auden Hyde with it down low. Clearing attempt failed. Bratton will collapse from the corner. A very sharp angled look is steered away by Eason. Auden Hyde. Finds his man out front, Bratton scores! Hudson Bratton, his second of the game, and we have a two goal game here in Andover. It's seven to five. Time of the goal, 6.55, seven to five contest between hometown and true north. It was seven to two at one point in the second. And now three unanswered goals for True North. And we have ourselves a game here in Andover. Looking to answer hometown down the right wing side. Lost it there. Near the True North bench, now in the middle third. Rollins for Zhukov. Dumps this one in, 6.40 to play here in the third. Lauritsen up the left side. Good work to pinch him off by Rollins. Hometown was able to get into their zone for only a second. And now it's back in the middle third. Sent in by Zhukov. Icing waved, 6.15 to go here in the third. Right side now. Birdie, taken by Chandler. Loose in front, they score. Alexander Rollins cleans up the loose change and a much needed insurance goal for hometown. It's eight to five. A big, big insurance goal for hometown. The time of the goal is 8.05. And it is 8-5 now between hometown and True North. That Rollins goal stops a 3-0 run for True North. They had scored three unanswered. This game was really, this game, wow, it's amazingly has had three runs of three or more goals, something that you really only see in hockey, but, or in, in basketball, I should say, but I guess we're bringing it over to hockey. Now here's a shot. Working into the slot is Milich. His shot goes wide. Back down low, another look out in front that time, and hometown starting to swarm here late in the third. Five minutes to go now. An eight to five hometown lead over True North. Shots are 22 to 17 in favor of hometown. Gross with it. Held at the line by DeShaw. Now from the left wing side, Millich sends it on. It's deflected by a stick. Lindemann will work back for True North. He's ridden into the wall. Well, I tell you what, that's a, uh, it's a textbook hip check, but you can't do that at this level. Jack Deshaw is going to head off for body checking. Two minutes, body checking, 424 to go. We'll get a timeout from hometown to talk things over. While they talk things over, we'll take a break. When we return, it's a power play look for True North looking to overcome a three-goal deficit here on the Youth Elite League. Some matzo pizzas are made in the heart of America's Dairyland, Kakana, Wisconsin. Every brew pub pizza is made with the highest quality meat and veggie toppings. 
them bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Snag a slice of brew pub pizza at the concession stand or enjoy a whole pizza conveniently located in the frozen pizza section of your local grocery store. Brew pub, lots and lots of pizzas, the ingredients for a great time. Generally speaking, water is a better fluid to use to rehydrate with. A big part of the importance of hydration is hydrating before the race rather than during the race. So, you know, the hydration before a long distance race in particular really starts the day before the race, probably almost 24 to 36 hours before the race to be completely hydrated. We welcome you back here from Andover. True North trailing eight to five against hometown, but Jack Deshaw just went off for body checking, so we will get a power play for True North. They're 0 for 1 on the man advantage in the game. We've had just two power plays total in the game. Hometown 1 for 1, True North 0 for 1. Nearly changed it right there as a nice shot from Brooks Birdie in the slot goes wide. Kruger. Back for Birdie. Four minutes to go, a minute 35 remaining on the power play. Kruger with it again. Left side, Birdie, down low. Now this puck flutters just a little bit on Bratton looking for the hat trick. Zielke will try to send this one through, desperately trying to clear his hometown. And now they will finally be able to do so, although it doesn't get more than maybe a foot over the line. At neutral ice. Some chaos. Chaos being reaped by Peterson, who scores. Grant Peterson somehow goes up and over the shoulder of Tang, and it's a shorthanded goal, and that will just about do it. Grant Peterson had that breakaway goal earlier. That was about as pretty of a goal as you'll see, and I... Reckon those two just about cancel each other out. Short-handed goal for hometown. It's 9-5. to five. Looking to add to it again. Save made by Tangen. Bennett Stewart that time was barreling in. 3-11 to go. He the third, 47 seconds remaining on the power play for True North. It's 9-5 to five hometown. At center ice, Brooks Allen sends this one in. 2.55 remaining in this one, 30 seconds remaining on the power play. And now we're going to get a penalty going against True North, I believe, as Lindemann that time. And yes, we will get the whistle. I believe they're going to get Lindemann for slashing. And actually, no, now the call is high sticking. So it cancels out the remaining 18 seconds on the power play. Crew Lindemann will go off for high sticking. Time of the penalty is 11-18. So 15 seconds remaining now of four on four hockey. Now we'll get a whistle and icing called. After that, we will have a minute 42 of power play time for hometown as they ice away this nice, nice win in the opening game of the Youth Elite League. This one from the slot is sent on, 2.28 to go. Four seconds remaining of four on four and then a minute 42 on the power play for hometown. Hometown back at full strength and onto the power play where they are one for one so far in this game. They scored just seven seconds into their first power play and haven't had an opportunity like that since. Rollins, full head of steam up the right hand side. Pokes it through. Now sent back the other way and stopped there by Brooks Allen. 
Allen backhands it. This one will be dumped in. No icing with the man advantage here. Minute 45 remaining in our opening game of a triple header here on Youth Hockey Hub. After this one, we'll have these same two teams at the 2011 age level as Oaks works in. And he's bumped off the puck by Rather. And our final game will feature the 2012 hometown against 2012 Thieves don't go anywhere. We got a full night of Youth Elite League action here on the Youth Hockey Hub as there's a goal. Nash Kruger, a shorthanded goal for True North. Back to a three goal game with 82 seconds remaining in this one. Time of the goal, 12.38, a shorthanded goal. It's nine to six. Bratton, shot is knocked down, a minute 15 now in this nine to six contest. Grant Peterson, over the line, shot, save made by Tang and rebound to his left side. Final minute of the play now in the third. 15 seconds remaining on the power play for hometown. Back up to the point, near side, Zielke winds it up, stick save made by Eason. He will cover the rebound, 43 seconds remaining, one second remaining on the power play for hometown. And True North starting to find a little bit of offensive rhythm here late, but ultimately going to be too late with 43 seconds remaining and a three goal deficit. The puck is dropped, Lindemann is released from the box, will skate five aside for the last 37 seconds. Zilke sends it in. Lindemann. Works into the middle third. Near the hometown bench. Long shot, glove save made by Eason. Saw it all the way, save number 14 for Brooks. He's in 19 seconds remaining here from Andover. Off the faceoff, perhaps one final push for hometown with 10 seconds remaining. Left wing half wall, turned around. Here comes Birdie back into neutral ice, and that will do it from Andover. So hometown kicks off the Youth Elite League in a big way, a nine goal outburst as they take down True North nine to six. It was three to one after one, seven to four after two, and hometown is able to hang on for the nine to six win. Shots are 25 to 20, hometown moves to 1 and 0, True North falls to 0 and 1. So that'll do it for game one of our Elite League triple header. We invite you to stick around for game two after this. It's these same two squads at the 2011 level. For the entire YHH cast and crew, my name is Will Peterson. Don't go anywhere. We've got more hockey for you just around the way. Some matzo pizzas are made in the heart of America's Dairyland, Kakana, Wisconsin. Every brew pub pizza is made with the highest quality meat and veggie toppings. Them bombarded with over half a pound of award-winning Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. Snag a slice of brew pub pizza at the concession stand or enjoy a whole pizza conveniently located in the frozen pizza section of your local grocery store. Brew pub, lots and lots of pizzas, the ingredients for a great time. Generally speaking, water is a better fluid to use to rehydrate with. A big part of the importance of hydration is hydrating before the race rather than during the race. So, you know, the hydration before a long distance race in particular really starts the day before the race, probably almost 24 to 36 hours before the race to be completely hydrated. 